last time on Lawful Stupid. Take it away, Devin. All right, so we had a little downtime uh, during since episode 22, and so we all got to resolve our downtime. So I spent a week getting to, uh, I basically just twirled Willow in the woods or at the, at the battle arena trying to figure out how that other white orc we fought managed to get his to sing a song that really uh, inspired his 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 minions. I like how you discount your time in training. You you took this like bonding moment with your beautiful weapon to I twirled it a lot. Do oh, I like to think of it's like a dirty dance? Like I was just always like sweaty and it was muddy and like we were yeah. I guess if you want to put it like that, it was very much like nobody puts Willow in a corner. I was spinning around and finally at the end of the week uh, had a moment where John. Uh, showed me how to just with one hand being strong enough to to wield her and get her to make what, what would he call it a, a humming it's like a humming sound yeah it yeah. is like a humming a it almost like takes it takes its own life force so and begins to I, I always like to tell you guys my inspiration of some of these things have you guys ever seen the like og power rangers movie of yes. Course. The versus the <laughs> yeah. Ivan Ooze? Yes, of yeah. course. Yeah. Tell me some so more. Remember let's, the, no, let's the, really go into this. This is the podcast now. No, no, no. <laughs> remember the girl with the spinning? Yeah. And, and the, like, yeah, that's that was like... I, I love it. That's the, the noise I heard when I was thinking of the spinning, but moving on. Uh, and then... You ooze, yeah. you lose. <laughs> <laughs> All night, the whole episode. That has to be somebody's That's new name. catchphrase. Thank somebody you. kills it. So you, you splat a, spl- a slime with Willow, and you go, "You ooze, you lose." That's was, the episode. Was name. there ooze in this the campaign? Name. There is now. There can be. You're the GM. It's your world. We just mm-hmm. live in it. And then while Atlas did that, uh, Christoph Shindo, of course, uh, he decided to give up his his uh, mean mugging uh, vengeance stare against the uh, the guild of the Nakor and went to go seek uh, refuge and solace and uh, respite and guidance uh, <laughs> lots of things he sought from the um, from the architect's guild with his, his life coach Wendy um, who really took some time one on one lessons and taught him how to manifest copper wire in uh, from the arcane torn into reality yeah, which you used to he, make he, friendship bracelets which then yes. mine exploded at the end of the episode. So <laughs> thanks. Well, don't kill me in the future, and maybe you'll get more friendship rewards. Uh, you'll, you'll get a true. you'll get a bond point with it, me. It's a I'll, true, yeah, it's a true friendship. Bracelet, I'll take it up right? with Foxwood. Like tell. Hmm. Please do. I went back to my guild to talk to Quincy, the guy in charge, who didn't show up for a week. So I talked to Sarah. For like a week, and then when he does show up, he's just kind of like, oh, "I'm super busy," and walks on. So I don't know what his deal is. And then we all started to travel back to Oxbane. We're right. We, we decided to travel back to Oxbane to complete our task for the magister. Uh, magister Let him know, Castle. yeah. Let her know that it's just his. Her cousin was pretending to be was Linda trying to be her. That's true. And so that's where we're going to pick back up. You guys are on your cart, traveling with Atlas, uh, you know, steering said cart with Rowan in the back. uh, Not Rowan, sorry. Kristoff in the back doing nothing per the Agreed Upon formation. Um, That's that's candid lore. Like, get out of here. We agreed. So you guys again have to travel through Village 3. And it was, it is very similar to how it was when you guys passed the last time coming through. Lots of extra guards. Extra in the sense of what you guys are used to. The guards are more militant than the type of guards that you're used to from Oxbane and your, the rest of your travels. But the, the village seems largely unchained. Or changed, not unchained. Um, this village so is not want... held down. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is its own right. Get out of here. Uh, is, do you guys want to do anything in the village before we keep traveling, or you just want to like keep moseying through? Uh, I actually, um, as Kristoff, I brought um, some strawberries back from uh, from the capital city of Yuri. I'm just going to throw them at that fucker who tried to give me an apple um, on the way in. Uh, oh, oh, the the little shopkeeper guy. The guy was like, "Do you have any strawberries?" And he was, or, or no, cherries is what it was. 
Um, I was like, do you have any cherries? He's like, I have an apple. They're both red. I'm going to just pelt him with cherries as we <laughs> drive past. And yell, they both okay, hurt. Okay, so you do that. You hear, you hear, ah, oh, but they're delicious. You're welcome. He's catching the Thank it. you. <laughs> and so you guys uh, make your way through that. You go to the village. You don't see anything. This is why I hate video because I can see your faces when you do that. And then it throws me off when I'm talking. And I say your faces. It's Devin. He's in rare form tonight, ladies and gentlemen. You're so lucky. So you guys march to the village. March. Ride to the village. And you continue traveling. So what, tell me what you're... Because it's a long journey, comparatively. So we're just going to like kind of move through those. Tell me what your uh, standard night, day kind of bag is. I'll let you guys choose what happens. And we'll see what the fates decide for you. While you guys do that, I'm going to get out my critical dice. From Ooh. Critical Dice, or my no dice from Critical Dice. Not an advert, but just the only dice I use since I bought them because they're in this beautiful pouch and they're nice dice. Uh, so I spend my days riding in the back sleeping because um, so I have to rest up for my, my night shift uh, on guard. And at night, um, by the fire, I read Advanced Mathematics and the Arcane Torrent, the book that I got from Wendy. What about everybody else? How would you guys like to spend your time? Alex, what do you want to do? Go ahead. Well, my well, obviously, we're taking turns driving the cart during the day. Yep. And um, at night is night be- sleepy time. I mean, I guess I could play some music for you while you drive. And that, that, hmm, that, that would, I would love yeah, that. Yeah, some travel music for us, and then that's, that's, that's my day. Uh, and I guess whilst I'm traveling, uh, at times I will have conversations with Foxwood, sort of try to see if she remembers any of her history. Um, and at when I'm not driving, uh, I'm asking Kristoff about his book, like what's in his book, if he's awake and studying it. <laughs> and then at night I am just sleeping. All right. I like to think that Foxwood, during your conversations, consistently finds like reasons to to like insult you for almost losing to a child and that <laughs> results in I, I imagine and correct me if I'm wrong Atlas but I, I wasn't gonna lose to the child kind of thing but you know she's definitely like not loving that it took you forever to get on board with murdering the demon child I can take the digs. All right. I, I very much like the scene of Atlas, the the full blooded orc, coming up to me like, "What's your book about?" I'm like, "Oh, it's advanced mathematics. It's very interesting. Let me teach you calculus." <laughs> and he just blank stares, returned at you like, "Uh, so is it good? Do you like it?" <laughs> it's 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 not exactly recreational reading, but it is it is helping me be better at the things that I do. At, could you read Are some of it out loud to me? I would love to. <clears throat> the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, who was who was Pythagorum? Uh, Pythagor- Pythagoras uh, was a um, Greek. He was one of the Greeks. He was one of the great mathematicians of the ancient Greek elders culture. Um, and he he came up with the theorem that we still use today in order to determine the different uh, the different measurements of the angle or of the the sides of triangles. So do you have any more hot biscuits on you or what? I have soft biscuits. I'm bringing them to, to Oxbane so that they know that these exist. Because um, they obviously have never seen them before. I'm just, I'm just focusing all of my magical energy. I have no spell slots this entire trip because I'm focusing all my magical energies on preserving them in a soft state. Well, that sounds like a good book. You come back to the Architects Guild. Guess what I learned? You can keep biscuits <laughs> soft for a long time using our abilities. We saw, just, we saw Dwayne's hard biscuit puzzle. <laughs> that's true. That's, you, that's you nailed it. To... You nailed it. Podcast over. You solved that How whole many thing. experience points do you think I would get for that? I, don't, I just you take yourself to level 20. The podcast is over. L- you're, level 20? You're okay, over. great. Yeah. <laughs> um, do me a favor and roll me uh, two perception checks for me for uh, your night watch, please. Yeah, I would love to. Um... I uh, I got some stat buffs when I hit level twenty, um, so this is going to be pretty. <laughs> oh yeah, great! This would be awesome. Uh, so the first one is a natural twenty, but prefer. And the second one is a uh, two. <laughs> okay, great. So uh, I'm just going to like level with you guys. There's a few nights of travel. Some are uneventful, but the two that possibly have events, we're going to roll against those. Mm. 
and you accept. That would be very interesting. Ba -ba. So a hobo comes and lights our cart on fire on that second night, and we don't know yeah. at all. The first, yeah. night, the first night, you notice some nightingales. They're very beautiful. <laughs> the second night was the important okay. one. On the first night, which is the night that you roll a crit 20, um, or a natural 20, either way, 20. It was a crit uh, 20, yeah. Meets the, uh, meets the bar. You, um, Christoph, as you're reading your book, as you're going over the notes and really getting into the, the theory of the Arcane Torrent, doing some math, maybe producing some spells and working on your copper or your ability to manifest physical things, you can see in the distance when the fire is bouncing around a form against the tree. You can see the shadow of somebody hiding behind a tree. Probably about 30 feet out. Uh, and you can see them pretty decently because you have dark vision. But you can't make I, out who they are. I think I'm going to kind of try to play this nonchalant. Um, and I'm going to like kind of just stick my finger out and just boom, Ray of Frost. Okay. Yeah. Roll an attack roll. Because, well, because the thing, I rate Frost is because I don't really care about damaging them, but they would make them unable to escape because they would have half movement speed and we could catch them. No, I. That's my thought process. I don't anyway. disagree. Uh, that is going to be a 16 to hit. That's not going to do it. Okay. Well, you tell so, me what happens. <laughs> no, I know. I'm just, I'm, I'm telling you, I was not expecting this. So, you sneakily, as you are, because I, I give you credit for being sneakily, no one expects that. You. Are doing your book and you're working your magic. Would, would you say you, it's sneaky enough to give me advantage on the roll? I would not. Mm. Okay, I would not fair. because you did not say I'm. Well, I guess you did kind of. Yeah, roll again. You did kind of say I want to nonchalantly. Yeah, I'll give you advantage. Okay, is that is now. Heal. This is now a 19 to hit. Okay, that does hit. Um, this charity. is why you always appeal to your DM. Just don't be annoying about it, right? Like, sometimes they'll PSA. be cool. Yeah, sometimes they'll be cool. Don't do it on everything, but you know. All right, so. You nonchalantly give a little blast, and when you point your hand at the target and your your spell leaps out, so the target goes to move and can't get all the way out of the way in time, <clears throat> and you see the left arm get tagged, right? Go ahead and roll damage for me, please. Yes, I would love to. Oh, real quick, I have to check to see if my damage has gone up at level 4 or not for Ray of Frost. Ray for us cantrip, right? Yeah, but the damage scales at levels. I don't know if it's level four. Yeah, I know it should be fifth, six. right? I thought it was five, but mm, go on. Yeah, it, it is fifth level. Just want to confirm. Yep. No, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> Seven. Perfect. So, in like immediate reaction to that, the figure that you hit falls to the right of the tree. So imagine you hit it. They step to the right, is the way I want to imagine it. They step to the right. So, briefly, you lose vision of them as they go behind this thicker tree. And as they come out on the right side, there's a rifle aimed at you. And they're going to make an attack against you. Fair. I'm assuming a 16 hits? Uh, I could be wrong. Check my character. Yeah. I've, I'm, I, I've got pretty good AC. No, it, it exactly meets my AC is 16. Okay, so that's going to hit. And that's going to do 7 thunder damage. Thunder damage. And then, are, would you guys say that you guys are sleeping within 10 to 15 feet of him? Like, because you're close to the bonfire? Does oh, that yeah. sound I mean, fair? Yeah. I'm going to let you I guys would choose. Like, we'd want to be around the fire. It gets cold at night. For just situations, for just these okay, situations. you guys are both yeah. going to take three thunder damage because I can't imagine you can roll deck saves while sleeping. That's smart, yeah, makes sense. And so, right. this <laughs> figure steps out to the right and releases a shot at you, and this bolt of lightning streams out from the rifle, strikes you across your chest, maybe st 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 staggering Staggers. you backwards. Yeah. Thank you, and then. From the hit on you, this wave of circular electricity spreads out 15 feet, striking both Atlas and Rowan. I imagine waking them up. Not for sure. 
and the person calls out and says stop now which I, i'm now learning that all my female voices are about the same and that is a problem <laughs> but right. i'll work we'll fix on it that post. another time we won't <laughs> but so that is what she says to you guys Mis- mysterious uh, reclaimer re- yeah it's absolutely the reclaimer good call absolutely Loot carrier? Yes! Why did you attack me? I didn't. Excellent. Tiefling. What the mm. fuck? I, I echo to you, what the fuck indeed? Why are you stalking our camp? I've been stalking you for a while. This is just the first time you've noticed me. Well... Good on you all those other times. <laughs> Kindly fuck off. Why Why no. are you stalking us? Stalking's a very negative term. Are you going to stop attacking me so we can stop shouting? Yes. A momentary truce. Good enough. And so she lowers her rifle. Even her shotgun. And... Nailed it. Well... Yeah, something like that. And kind of approaches you guys. And you guys see... Oh, man. I have that list somewhere. Kylo Ren. Yes. <laughs> Brooke Shields. How did you know? Um, Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> Gerard Depardieu. You know what? I don't even want to describe her. I just want you guys to continue like naming references. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so she approaches and, you know, she's cloaked. And last time you had a hard time seeing uh, her face. This time her face is revealed. And you can see a, um, you see a full-blooded elf. And this elf has a light bluish tint skin. And... Um, her eyes are tinted light blue. Um, she approaches you guys and uh, can says, I can I do can I do a roll to see what kind of elf she is? She's a Dabu D Dabu Die elf. You, <laughs> she could be a mer, she could be a mer elf. She could be a, she could be all kinds of different elves. Um, I will let you do a history check with those. Uh, great roll though um 14 um you don't know what type of sub race she is uh candidly um but a 14 will let you know that you feel like magic pouring off of her and she approaches you and looks at the group of you and says hmm you're getting much closer to the loot, it seems. And she stares at you when she says that, really. Well, I mean, it's still as close as ever on my back. That's not what I meant. And I, I feel like you know that. Oh, I know. You're speaking in metaphoricals, miss. Misses. The things that... Yeah, it's kind of our bag. I mean, I guess. Our first encounter was... I still don't understand it, but yes. <laughs> That's true. There is a dwarf with a hammer who passed through this direction. I want his artifact. <laughs> I you think know that you might be out, outclassed. That, that dwarf carries the hammer of Derodin. Even the I'm, gods fear the power of the hammer of Derodin. I, I'm aware of the artifact he carries. I want it. Or the reclaimers want it more so. Are you? What's up with the reclaimers? Are you an, a group, an entity, a, two split groups of one thing? We are an organization who collects artifacts, and we make sure that the public do not have access to them. They are not for public consumption. If I may, you're doing a pretty shit job. Just like everybody talking and being honest. I, he's got a loot. That guy's got a hammer. 
uh, Findle has an, an iris, and he is not to be trusted with anything more dangerous than a hard-boiled egg. I don't think the iris is an artifact. I think it is. I think it's a magical jigger. The iris is uh, not uh, Elf, one Elf of Lady, the what, is, what is your name? I know you are a reclaimer, but if, if there were four or five of you standing here, what would I refer to you as? Because if I said reclaimer, you would all look, and it would be very confusing. Um, just like last time we met, my name is Cecilia. Well, if you remember anything about our last encounter, it was very, very awkward. So I uh, just let you know that. I feel like did all you say of our awkward? Encounters are I awkward. said I did. <laughs> what? No. Did you say? Did you say awkward you, or awkward? <laughs> Christoph, you are being very racist. I said it was very awkward. I don't know what you're hearing. <laughs> you keep saying it. I'm saying awkward. <laughs> okay. You got yeah, it. I heard plain as day. Awkward. And you even see the reclaimer, like fighting to keep a straight face as you guys do this bicker back and forth and she kind of like looks down and shakes her head and she looks back up and says I'm making an exception for you three though I'm beginning to regret that but I think that you three holding an artifact will benefit me more than me taking it from you oh that's that's a good call. And you could have just said that probably from the I, get-go. If I remember, she did. That should... You gotta bury the lead on that one. <laughs> no, I... am pretty sure I told you last time that I prefer you to have this, but now I'm telling you why. Yeah. You, okay, well, by all Ooh, means. Yeah, come on. Ahead. I want you guys to bring me the other artifact. <laughs> what? No. That sounds terrible. No. Not at all. Why does everybody always want artifacts everywhere we go? And like for such a secret thing, like <laughs> everyone knows. Well, everyone you talk to knows. I imagine if you ask a farmer, they're not going to know about these. Well, why would I talk to a farmer? Yeah, I, to talk <laughs> I don't want to know farmer. about a farmer. <laughs> Wool. <laughs> oh, I hate my life. What is a corn? It grows out of the know. fucking ground. Who signs you to us? Well, a corn is really just a grain in the area. It doesn't have to be the yellow. That's neither here nor there. Oh, okay, great. You guys are just awesome. Listen, the next time I see you guys, if you don't have another artifact for me, I'm taking the loot. I don't think there's going to be a next time. I'm about to make an honest man out of Rowan. What are we doing? Am I figuring a thing out? <laughs> I'm about to make you a not liar. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I love all everything about that. And she goes, "Well, yes, I I don't think lying is the best way to achieve goals, but you do you." I was say, have I, you heard any rumors from, um? That city we were just at, God. That city. You know what the guild's the big one? Yuri. It, that's Yuri. No, it, it can't be Yuri. The big city. Cecilia. Yeah, no, I'm I'm aware of what city you were at. Did you, did you forget? And she looks at you can. Oh, no, I was asking if you heard any rumors from there. Oh, I no, I haven't heard anything about you. Oh, that's great. So, yeah, we saw a dwarf that had a hammer, and you said he went this way? Or are you talking about when he went to the city? No, he was heading away from the city towards Oxbane. Just, just Cecilia, just so I know, just so, you know, knowledge is power, It are you saying that the next time you see us, if we have not reclaimed an artifact for you, you're going to forcefully take the loot of Wynn? That's exactly what I'm saying. I cast catapult on my book. You cast catapult. I cast on catapult your book. on my book. Towards her, okay? Yeah. What does she have to do in response to that? She does a dexterity saving throw, I believe. Uh, I'm also going to say a sweet one liner if it hits. So. Okay. All right. So she got a 15. I think she succeeds. Uh, yeah, she succeeds. The the book misses or hits her, and she deflects it. Whatever. 
So you catapult this book and she sidesteps it and brings the rifle to the ready and she says, I don't want to take it from you now, but I will. I cast catapult <laughs> in the book again from behind. Okay. I, will restrain, I will restrain him. Okay, I restrain me all you want. It ain't got semantic components, dog. Let's party. Okay, uh, let's roll another one. Uh, 15 again. Dead on the money. Okay, great. And so, almost like a cheesy movie, she steps again as it comes flying your direction. And I'm not going to say it hits you or anything, but like it comes back towards you. And she's gonna reti- she's gonna fire on you. And I guess you guys are gonna fight or just keep exchanging blows. But no, I say stop. Everyone stop after she does her attack. So whatever happens. Okay, uh, it's a it's a five. It's not gonna hit. Um, so as you're yelling stop, she like uh, twists and the bolt goes across into the woods, and it, you hear it smack against a tree and crack, and the the tree falls, and. <sighs> She says, I don't want to take it from you today. I want results. We will we'll get your hammer. I'm trust me, I'm I'm down for an adventure. Hold on. I'll get your hammer. Even if these little boys don't, I'll get Is your Is the boomstick hammer. made out of metal? It's gotta be, right? Yeah, it's gotta be. Keep do metal. Not, go. Do, do it. Oh, go. Do, yeah, it. Do, it. do it. Do it. Do it. Do it now. We're rolling initiative. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're doing. I'll let you cast heat metal, but we're not going to keep doing this. Yeah, no, I'm I'm committed to murdering her. I'm not sure if you guys I, picked up how on do that. I, what, if I don't want to be in combat, how do I how do I make that? You happen? don't have. You to should be. still roll. You should still roll initiative so that if you want to take yeah. actions that aren't combat oriented, you know where you fall. Okay, um, I'll do it'll that. be our initiative <clears throat> rounds. So. Okay. Uh, that's, that's a natural, natural twenty. 20. Okay. That's a natural eight. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> What's it done naturally? Because we need to know your modifier. To know um, your probably a plus three. Okay. Um, so for an 11? So Rowan, uh, you can go ahead and cast Heat Metal. And I'm going to pull up D&D Beyond because Heat Metal is that super gay spell. Or super well, okay. unbalanced spell. There we it go. It is very unbalanced. That's nah, fine. I get it. It's very, very um, strong be what it is so we're gonna pull i just want to take a minute to say that a tree fell in those woods we weren't there but we did hear it we solved your if a tree falls in the woods and no one's around you hear it <laughs> this is making noise Puzzle. i was gonna say knowledge is power again as the book hit her in the face so everybody that's knows a, that's a good one line <laughs> that's well, I'm impressed. That's you should so save it there's gonna be a time when you could use that i'm yeah, still good not anymore it'll still be it'll be watered down we'll people that forget. time that you wanted to use it it's, it's too late now. Everybody knows. It's out in the ether. So you cast Heat Metal on her boomstick. Yes. And what happens... She takes 2d8 fire damage and then aware. makes a constitution check on if she can even hold on to it. Go ahead and roll your damage. It's a 1. Great start. And a 5. So 6. Yep. Alright, uh, Constitution check. Uh, yep, 16. you're good. Okay. So, she takes how much damage Just again? Six. I'm so sorry. To six, okay. For a total of 13. Alright. So, she takes that damage, and, uh, her boomstick gets super hot, and she says, Fine! And, Rowan, it's your turn. Your start of the initiative. Mm, okay. I will cast Vicious Mockery. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you need to pull up Instagram or... Let's see. No? Okay, just go ahead okay. and do your thing. Um... Well, he's going to well, get her. Well, I, I feel him. I'm just because, like, I want to use the Instagram ones because people did that. 
but I'm going to go with the you're impossible to underestimate. And then I'm going to bonus action activate it again. You know, after the after the dismiss. Oh, the, yeah. the thing. Okay, so 15 for the vicious mockery? Uh, yeah, that's good. Okay, so she's still going to take Oh wait, uh, or take nope. Okay, so the saver sucked, and then sh you're gonna do more mm -hmm. fire damage, and then she's gonna roll a Constitution, um, which is a five. So she drops yep. the weapon. It's a five and a six, so it's eleven damage, and drops the weapon. Woo! That's and not... then I'm gonna call in response. So Somebody you... grab it. Got it. Isn't it? Yeah, no, yeah. that's. Cool. And then that's my turn. Um. Okay. It's Kristoff's turn. I cast Catapult on the rifle. My target oh, is as far away as beautiful. possible. Uh, how far away is it? Is it? Uh, the range for Catapult, uh, 60 feet. Okay, you can fire at 60 feet. That's 100% on you. Yep. And I'm going uh, so to do, do 60, 60 feet behind us. Okay, and I'd say we're about 10 feet apart at this point. Um, So, or... Yeah, 15 because she wouldn't shoot and hurt herself um so it goes 45 feet 60 feet from her 45 feet from you guys back into the woods somewhere not super concerned with where it is at the moment okay um, and then bonus action uh yeah. to i'm gonna give bonus action to atlas and say do not hold back atlas strike as fiercely as you can and that'll give him advantage Cool. So she's going to pull these two blades from behind her. And it's almost like as she pulls them, they appear. And they are of this bright blue translucent material that none of you guys have ever seen before. And she's going to rush up to you guys and... Kristoff, she's going to make a series of attacks against you. That disadvantage. <laughs> Define series. Uh, she she still has disadvantage? disadvantage from the very first time where she succeeded on holding on to it on her next attack. Uh, that's only with that weapon, right? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, her hand would be burnt still. Um, um, unfortunately, heat metal oh, wait, is one of no, those it's, terrible spells, I'm, and I'm going to take it I'm wrong, over it's, to disadvantage the start of my next turn and it technically went immediately to my turn your next turn yeah so it's yeah, already passed yeah, yeah, never mind right. that's my bust um oh, attack rolls and ability check. yeah you're right it is all damn that spell so gross every time i read it i learn something new about how i hate it <laughs> well, so why do all why do all of your npcs have counter spell Oh, just for one spell. They don't use it just except for metal. one spell. Yeah. Just heat metal. <laughs> okay, so she's going to run up and she's going to unleash a, a series of attacks. Now, I, I do have a question. You said she's going to run up and unleash a series of attacks? Yep. Mm -hmm. Typically, you can't move and multi-attack. Is that on purpose? No, that is uh, that is not actually a 5e thing. So that's a three and a half thing. And 5e oh, okay. uh, creatures, and I know this because when I build creatures, I'm a lazy DM and go find a stat block of somebody else and adjust, so I'm never being mm -hmm. super unbalanced. Um, so multi-attack will specifically say multi-attack, you can use like claws and bite at the same time, or you can use these, like it's a very specific combination. So if like, if like your claws are blocked, then you can only bite. You Like multi-attack is typically like several different attacks or special Got circumstances, it. but you can still move and multi-attack. Yeah, and, and some and, creatures and my... say like you can't move and multi-attack at the same time. It just depends on how high level they are and where they are. Like just like yeah, it must be three. Creatures. It must be three point five brain for me because back in three point five, no creature could move and multi-attack. Yep, on I I remember you bringing that up in another session. Off it was the werewolf session. Yep, it was a werewolf session, and I went and started like reading that because I didn't know that rule. Um, hmm. So yeah, she's gonna she's gonna roll up on you, and her first attack is a fourteen. It does not hit. Okay, so with the first attack, she runs up and she swings the first blade, and I think you stagger backwards, almost cut off, almost caught off guard, but still able to dodge that first blade coming across. And the second attack, I think, is gonna hit at a seventeen. It hits. And so, 
as you're staggering backwards, she just pushes forward into you and brings the blade. And she's holding these blades not um, the way you would hold a standard sword, right, where it's blade outwards. The blade goes across her forearm. Yes, backhanded, essentially. So she's essentially slashing in big (laughs) arcs, right? And you are going to take... Going to take 10 points of force damage. Got it. And then she's going to make a third attack. And that is a crit 20. That'll hit. Yep. Okay, so sh- that third attack, so this whole, I didn't do the audio for that one, but that's okay. The third attack, if you imagine the first one is a right hand, and you stagger back, and the second attack is a left hand, and the third attack is both of them coming across at the same time, and when she strikes that attack with you, it hurts, and you're going to take 21 points of force damage. And that makes it Atlas's turn. And w- when she's attacking, it's almost on cadence. She says, I told you to stop. And now it's Atlas's turn. Uh, all right. So I will, I'm going to pull out. That's good I'll fight sometimes, go but we're, you know, what are you going to do with no. combat? I know, I'm trying to think who I'm going to pull out. You know what? No, I'm just, I'm just going to pull out. Foxwood, just for protection. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna use my reaction uh, my, with my blade mastery feat. Basically, just gives me a plus one of my AC until my next turn um, with with Foxwood. And I'm not gonna attack that turn. I'm just gonna say, uh, Cecilia, whatever you do, don't kill them. They mean well. Uh, I, we do not mean to fight. So if you can, if you need to dispatch them and disappear, you know, we will do what you need us to do. Coward! Weakling! That's my that's my response to your call, by the way. Okay. Foxwood was right! And it's Rowan's turn. Um, call and response. Christoph, how you looking? Not great. Alright. <laughs> <sighs> I imagine Christoph is like panting, but still dignified, like not great, but like trying to stay upright and keep his clothes perfect or pristine as possible all right could be wrong i'm gonna th- i'm gonna imagine. throw him my last healing potion that i stole from two gnomes one cup one cup or something <laughs> i'm going to bonus mm-hmm. action healing word my dog i think it was two gnomes one flask actually but this is not as funny it's two gnomes for one seven flask. it's also not on the nose either okay and then I'm gonna book it back to that rifle. <laughs> like I'll only get halfway there, but I'm trying to determine whether you would be in attack of opportunity range. Just well, she didn't get an attack of opportunity moving to attack me, so I would say no. That's not how attack of opportunity works, but. She she would have had to if he was close enough where he would he would leave her threatened range she would have had to pass through his threatened range range to get to me, but not out Unless of we were it. side by side. And this know. is where you and I like don't disagree. I I'm just gonna say no because we do the theater of the mind and I always try to give you guys um, well especially because like benefit of the in, because in my mind long. we're at the fire and yeah, he no, was a I, little bit ahead so when she rushed him she didn't have to pass by me to get to him. This is why I yeah this is why I do the theater of the mind or that's why I give you guys benefit of the doubt because. It, we never like sit down and super focus on that. But yeah, okay, so you book All right. it. Alright, so you get 30 mm-hmm. feet towards it. Okay. Uh, next up is Kristoff. And this is the uh, only I'm, time I've ever seen Shane like he'll really like sit and think this hard about a move in D and D. Cunning action, bonus action, disengage. Because okay. uh, I have three levels of rogue, so I'm allowed to do that. Yep, yep, that's true. Uh, move thirty feet backwards, ray of frost. Okay. 
And that is a natural 20. That's going to hit, as it were. And that is going to do three damage. Heavy hitters. Wait, with the crit? Uh, yeah, spells, spells don't, don't crit. Right. Spells don't crit. Yeah, 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 no. Wait. Don't they, though? It's direct damage, right? I mean, it, I th- I've i always thought that they should, but as a rule, they do not. Spell crit. I mean, I don't know that you're... Uh, we don't also hit all... I think, I think it's double damage. I'm about to check right now. Yeah, it's just the attack. No, 5e, if you roll... A critical, it's double dice. Well, that is an additional it, eight points of damage, max but dice. But it has to be damage. spell attack. It has to be spell attack, right? Not like not a, a saving save. throw. Yep, no. yep. Because you wouldn't roll an attack. Yeah, because it just says when you score a critical hit on an attack, you roll the attack's damage twice. Okay. So and that is that's eleven like, points of damage. Hey man, instead. see, this is what I yeah, I have been learning, from, right? Like, all right. Well, I'm always I'm always on your side. So you bolt backwards while she's watching Rowan run away and then you blast this frost touch on her and it hits her dead in the fa- dead in the face and she staggers back a step and looks at you just with the fiercest eyes they're they like almost pierce through you you can feel the arcane torrent pouring off of her at this point and she she puts the blades back behind her and she raises up both of her hands and only you Kristoff spot this small trinket with some carvings on it and I'm going to need you to roll a dexterity saving throw you got it boss and Rowan I'm going to need your character to feel super afraid as it gets near you 17 okay so you're going to succeed but you're still going to take 10 thunder damage. And so she puts up both her hands and that holding that object in the center, and this pillar of thunder rolls through Kristoff, and he's able to, like, lay back on the ground, just kind of, like, fall back on the ground, and then bounce back up as it passes over. And I imagine as you're running for the boomstick, it's just roaring oh, by shit. you. And just like, shit, 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 Don't shit, touch shit. the hat. Don't touch the hat. <laughs> Very Indiana Jones. And it is Atlas's turn. So she's she's holding up an artifact or some kind of thing it's, in her hand. From your right? perspective, like I said, from your perspective, you just see her two hands clasped together and her holding something, and a giant pillar of lightning roll forward. Uh, so am I behind Kristoff? Is that what I'm saying? Is that no? I, because he would have he would have booked at thirty feet. You're still maybe 15 feet to her northwest okay, okay. uh maybe five maybe as 10, as as someone who's not sure. like actively fighting am i still if i was to You're walk still toward in combat, her technically because you rolled initiative try again so if i didn't roll now. initiative i'm not in combat just i just so i know like for future tense I don't know how that works. So if I'm like not wanting to fight, just wanting to talk, is I'm saying like yeah, trying to we take are. The diplomatic. Think of it. Think think of it as two different timelines. There's like standard flow of time, and there's initiative rounds. You can still take whatever actions you want in the six second period of time that's allotted to you now. Yep. You can do whatever you, you want. You don't have to fight. Yep. You can just whatever mm-hmm. you want. You can walk up and try and like talk to her in rural persuasion checks. Like that's all on you. Whatever you want to do. Yeah, let me let me. I'm gonna try one more time to, to walk up to her, not to where I can get Tiger Rock. Well, yeah, I, I'm not going up to her. So well, you don't. Anyways. That's not how a Tiger yeah. Rock parody works. But it... got it. Walking up to her, and I'm mm-hmm. gonna say, Celia, one last time. I don't want to fight you either. These we know that you can you can take these boys, and yes, they're annoying. But this is not the time. Uh, we can't help you if they are dead, and there's probably no one better to help you than us. As as much as we've learned. Uh, from the loot itself. And first of all, did you walk out weapon drawn? Still, I have it. It's not raised. It's it's there. But it's it drawn. Was... Okay, I'm just asking. It's it, it. Roll a persuasion check for me, please. Uh, it's a nineteen. 
Still good. I just it just raised your difficulty. You still super fast. Um, That's the only time it's ever happened. You. Yeah, no, right? Because you're super not good at this. She looks at you and says, um, "This is on you. The next time I come back, if they don't have an artifact, I'm taking the loot and your life." And you hear Foxbane just raging in your ear to murder her, to take her apart, show her you're the strongest. Like just this slew of like encouraging also like demeaning motivational things in your ears to murder her and i'll say uh don't mistake my kindness for weakness there it is <laughs> Recla- reclaimer and she looks at you and, and returns and we'll do the well this will be the last exchange because it's six seconds and she says I'm leaving you alive out of my own mercy. And that's what your turn does. I'll run and I snatch up that thunder stick. It's definitely within grasp. Okay, cool. Roll me a constitution check. Let me double check with my constitution. Alright. It's a 15. Cool. So, I mean... Whether this is going to be a popular opinion or not, that thing is still heat oh, metal, I can deac- right? Yeah, so it's concentration. Spray concentration. No, yes, it's it not is. a concentration spell. I looked it at is. it. To try it and find- it's not. Like, hold on. Let me double check that. Heat metal. Mm, not yeah. a concentration yes. spell. I'm looking I am on too. D&D Beyond. Cast time, one action. Where, do you, where see do you see a diamond? Do you see a diamond with a C? Oh, a diamond with a C what? means it is concentration. Yeah. When did you break concentration? When I'm running up to it. Like, when I'm about to pick when it up. running for it. <laughs> I'm not going to pick up a hot one. Okay, that's... Oh, okay. To... In a game where words matter, and you don't say you break concentration, I didn't have anything else break it, that's fine, but you didn't say I broke the concentration. You could so. say the terrifying giant wave of roaring thunder that went by and maybe he broke his concentration. I mean, you could say that, but he also didn't take damage and the mechanics didn't meet it, but hmm. neither here nor there. Either way, roll me another concentration check for the trap on the weapon. Because I was going to have oh, you roll gosh. one to see that if you picked it up and you were going to drop it because it's hot and not take damage. But the weapon's... It's an awesome unnatural 20. Trap. Okay, you're super good. You're going to take a little bit of thunder damage, but you're holding on to it. Uh, you take okay. four thunder damage. For a second, I was thought you were gonna be like fourteen thunder damage, cause fuck you. No, no, no. It's the the point of this spell is to you to fail that and then it oh, go shit. flying from you. Like, is it like Not opposite Mjolnir? You. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, that makes sense. And that is what I was trying to pick it up. I'm trying to remember. Kristoff went back thirty feet, so he's still within range for me to hit him with another. Heal since he looked real bad. Yep. Oh, I look worse than I did before. Let me tell you that much. <laughs> I healed. Seven well, points, I heal you for eight points. points, and you still have that potion. Thank you. And then I'm gonna call, and then I will call in oh, response. Now I've got an artifact to hand you the next time. And you don't hear her because you're super far away, but. Atlas, you hear her, and she says, it's not an artifact, you fool. But she just says it very, like, level. So proud uh, of my artifact. Off, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do a thing I've never done before. Um, drink a potion? So, <laughs> oh, no. no <laughs> I'd rather die than drink a potion. I mean that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to steal my mind. I'm going to try to tap into the arcane torrent. Okay. And I'm going I'll to try it. to create from nothingness oh, as an wire. architect. <laughs> Close. So I remember the friendship bracelet that I made. And I'm going to imagine manacles on her hands. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Yeah, I love it. 
Roll me an arcane check. Or, yeah, arcane check. The twists. The turns. The... That's not terrible, 17? I will... Here's what I'm going to do for you, because this is experimental, and I, I love the creativity. I'm going to let you... And I'm not telling you anything other than this. You can use... And this is controversial to anybody who listens but welcome to the homebrew and i like using resources in a different way than other people tend to do you can add or you can add a 1d4 to that roll per spell slot you burn and if it's a level one it's a 1d4 if it's level two it's a 1d6 i don't think you have any level threes if you did it'd be a 1d8 this is not a consistent mechanic this is a me rewarding him with an extra chance to put Especially because he was reading idea. the book through the journey. It, I, yeah, that has a lot to do with it, and it really doesn't with my decision making. I just love that he's like playing further into his character, and I will make up fucking rules on the spot. So basically, that's like inspiration. That. Yeah, I don't have any spell slots left. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Um, yep. I was like, wait a second. Catapult, catapult, catapult. Yep, nope, I got nothing. <laughs> okay, so you build these. She's she's kind of still talking to Atlas, um, and but she's got her hands kind of like pointed, right? Because she just fired off that shot. And you see the shackles start to form around her. And you kind of see her eyes watch them, concerned. But as you build them... Whether that's from lack of experience, from being exhausted from the battle, you can't hold your concentration. And the shackles, they they start to form, but they just like when you're making the copper wire, they dissipate and they just vanish. And you see the numbers and the magic disappear back into the arcane torrent. Now you see that. Other people only see them start to form and then vanish, almost in a blink of an eye. Chill. Bonus action, hide. <laughs> okay, yeah, I want to hide behind a tree, yeah. Yes, yep, absolutely. Uh, that is going to be 19. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's, she contests that, right? Or, yeah, with Yeah, because she's looking, yeah. She, it's not like a passive. Yeah, you, she doesn't. She, like, she notices that you hide because she scored high enough, but she has no idea where you went. Like, so she knows that you duck because obviously she was watching the other person fucking cast Arcane manacles on you uh all right cool it's her turn and she looks at atlas and she says i'm going to need my rifle back and do you want to say anything Uh, it's your it's your property okay so she moves 30 feet forward and she aims at uh, Rowan, who she can see, holding her rifle proudly, and she puts up that <laughs> she puts up that thing again and fires off another round. I mean, yeah, okay, Fi- yeah, she sorry, she fires off another round, and you need to roll a dexterity save, please. Well, it's not that; <laughs> it's a ten. Feel confident in that. Oh, okay. I got plus five dexterity, so it's like, oh, this will be great. Lo and behold, it was not. Well, you're going to take 26 thunder damage. Ouch. Oh my gosh. So she puts that thing again, and this time it's Rowan, or it's Kristoff this time, who's who's hiding (laughs) by a tree, and there's this pillar. Because you imagine, it's like pitch black in these woods, and until it's not, right? And this pillar of lightning hits you and strikes you and slams you against the tree behind you and just pours over you. And now it's Atlas's turn. I will move up to be next to where she's at just so I can be in range to yell stop fighting her you idiots. You're a fucking coward Rowan. (laughs) <laughs> not really sorry. Atlas. No, what did, he didn't do I anything. I love the confusion. <laughs> I almost love that because you're just like nice. spaced out. He's blown up against a tree. <laughs> but yeah, 
So I say, and I, I'm thinking he's behind Alistair a tree, Ryan, but I'm a coward. Shoes. Foxwood was still right. Okay. Uh, Rowan, it's your turn. I'm going to pull out the loot. And I'm going to hold it in front of me like a shield. Okay. Uh, I, do you want to cast the no, shield action? I just want to hold it up, and if they want to fucking shoot at me, they can fucking hit that shield. Like, air quote, shield. I mean, so like it's... Okay. Sure, alright. Or the dodge action, I guess, but shield. Eh, you do whatever. Alright, so you hold it in front of... I mean, I for the, for the purposes, I would let him use shield and have the same effect. I mean, mostly but... it's just... Um, okay, so what do you want to do with your action? Other than hold up, like, I love the idea of Rowan going, Oh yeah! And then pulling up the loot. <laughs> do it now! <laughs> I'm, well, I'm going to hold the loot, and then I'm going to fucking steady the rifle and try and fire a shot with it. It's all I got. Like, one more one more, and I'm down, so... I think she'll just knock me okay, out and take it. Um... Kick dirt in my face, fuck it. Yeah, um, go ahead and roll a ranged attack with a uh, oh, dexterity good. modifier. I wouldn't add proficiency, would I? <laughs> you mean I'm not proficient with future not. technology? You are not proficient What's with rifles. What's the point of a time-traveling loop? <laughs> well, it's not future, um, but moving on. It's a 14. And, um, so... Two things you're gonna have. But one, I need you to roll a um, constitution. Uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna kick to the peanut gallery here. Shane, what would you say is like holding some holding yourself steady after like a big kickback of a weapon? Constitution uh, I would say athletics? that's that would be the um, probably strength choice. Yeah. For, no, I would say dealer's choice for either like uh, an acrobatics to keep your footing, right? Because that's like a balance thing, or yeah. um, athletics to just kind I'll of. I'll let you run choose athletics it. or acrobatics. That's fair. This is why I ask because this is not a a, a a dictatorship. Ooh, I love it's a cheerocracy. It's a cheerocracy. Yep. <laughs> it's a All right. It's a cheerocracy. And what are you Ac- rolling for the acrobatics for the podcast? Which is still not great at a fourteen. Got it. Okay. Okay. So you fire this rifle, and it has got a kick like you wouldn't believe. And you wouldn't believe that with how well she fires it. And because it kicks so hard, it goes high. She doesn't even move. She was so confident (laughs) that you were not going to perform. It was a lot closer than she thought, but she didn't move. And so you drop the rifle because, like, you do good just to keep the loot in your hand. Right, because that was a priority. Yeah. To keep that up in front of you, thinking that's that's your shield, and then the weapons now on the ground. You're like shit, 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 shit. Uh, is there uh. anything else you want to do on your turn, bud? That was an impressive turn. Though, if anybody's listening to fan art, I need I need Rowan with the loot up and the rifle <laughs> aimed down it, because that just screams off. Right, awesome. right in the curvature of the loot. That's yep. what I, Dude, that's that's in my mind. Awesome. With, 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 like, with, with like his hat pushed up, he's got like his hat pushed up so yep. they can and see that's, what that's yep. my... Yep, it's perfect. That's my turn. <laughs> Kristoff, how do you want to play this? I'm going to do the exact thing, <laughs> same thing I did last turn. Hi? I'm going to vision those manacles again, this time okay. I'm gonna think about I'm gonna think about Wendy standing behind me, her hand on my shoulder, talking me through it. The copper wire on my wrist as a focus. You're doing and it, I'm Peter. Try it again. Okay. That is uh, seventeen. Same as last time. Uh Okay. Yeah. It's. I mean, you don't have any spell slots to burn. I was I was going to like, but that would just make it too easy for you. I mean, um, I did I did a lot of role playing stuff. Maybe, maybe I, well, I was going to let you use hit die as an um like as a resource, but I already let you use spell slots. It seems hokey to let you do both. Um, yes, yeah, so the same thing happens. You you step out from the tree and you because I think you need line of sight to really focus, especially because you're still new at it and. Um, you, she sees the chains again and she sees you and she kind of laughs as they dissipate again 
And I assume you want to hide behind the tree again with a bonus action? Uh, in exactly this order, I would like to first call in response, Play me out, Johnny! <laughs> and then bonus action, hide. <laughs> <laughs> I need bardic inspiration. Please. I, I, I probably Go won't ahead, live. Uh, roll it. Well, if you do. Uh, that is going to be 19. Okay. Same as last time. No, yeah. And she, uh, again, she sees you duck back. Um, but she can't, I mean, it'd be fucking hard for her to not notice in real, in realism, well, right? So, like, in, so in my, in my, in my eyes, right? So I like, you, I like jump do duck and roll trees, behind maybe? the tree and then I like crawl to okay. a different all right, tree. All right. the one I was going to say, all right, cool. No, I, I like that. You're crawling around. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, yeah. So it's her turn again. And, um, Atlas, you see this and Rowan, I don't think you would from being like, beat up or not necessarily close enough you see her like hit the device between her hands and then she puts it back up and she's gonna fire another pillar of thunder at you Kristoff or Rowan and she says that's my rifle and I need you to roll a dexterity saving throw that's terrible (laughs) it's a 10 again Yeah. Rowan's Ro- 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 will take a little nap. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't really matter what happens. Like Rowan will take a little nap. You're going to take yep. 21 thunder I damage. Am. I am napping hard. And Do I get advantage for half cover from the loot? So, you, you oh, get... Right. Well, it's a saving throw. You get... Well, even then, the loot is going to give you half cover... Like quarter, quarter cover, I can, I can give you hear the cover, argument. Yeah. I can give you the argument, but that's I'm just really like half quarter. I could see. Anyways, you get struck and you're holding the loot up, and you get struck and you you like feel the heat and the intensity and the lightning roar across your chest, and it's when your back hits the tree and then your head snaps backwards and smashes into the tree. You're out, out like a light. And you fall forward atop the loop. And Atlas, you see a popping noise. And um, she, you see Cecilia curse under her breath. And then she puts the item away. And she walks 30 feet forward next to Kristoff's body, or Rowan's body, and picks up her rifle. Is she so you... just barely she's there. She's yeah, walking she's... out of your threatened range, Atlas. Yep. Yeah, great. So am I gonna attack Kristoff? And so she walks she stands above this body and uh Rowan, uh Kristoff, because you're hidden, you can choose for us to drop combat. But if you want to continue the combat format, that's up to you. We can drop combat and go narrative because you're hidden. Or now I will say this, if you want to stay hidden until you decide to go to combat, you'll be next. Atlas will be next in the initiative, but I'll let you control the flow. Uh, death before endangered servitude. Okay, so she goes and picks up a rifle, and uh, it's Atlas' well, turn. Oh my gosh! Do I would I know that Kristoff, like just based on his character, is gonna keep doing this? I mean, it just seems like. Well, you also don't know where he is, right? Like. Because you, unless you haven't been tracking him, you haven't rolling to stay where he is. You just know that he's gone. Like he's, I don't, he's I don't, hidden. Well, I feel like I'd be what because I'm watching this. Like instead of focusing on one enemy or one person, like I'm trying to get everybody to stop fighting. Okay, well you can roll a perception check and try to beat his nineteen. I'll, yeah, I'll I mean, let you do that, and it won't. Be yeah, no, nope, didn't. Yeah. Well, so but you don't I, know where I just is. say he's gone in your mind. Like he, like, and I'll just say where he's hidden. Guys, if you want to die here, keep fighting. But this is a losing fight. And that's specifically for Kristoff. <laughs> Alright, uh, Rowan, it's your turn. Roll a death saving throw for me, please. It's an 18. I could have used that before. Hey, that's, that's one in your favor. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Uh, so, um, death's door knocks and you fucking answer. <laughs> Kristoff, your turn. Uh, I'm going to stand up, call and response. Uh, 
You saw that orc in chains outside Yuri, Atlas. I thought you would realize death before indenturement. Oh, that's a word, right? Yeah. Everybody confirm? Everybody nod their heads, that's a word? Close enough, yeah. Even if it's not, yeah. Atlas <laughs> thinks you're super smart still, because he's like, ah, oh, that's a good word. <laughs> okay, great. Word. And then I'm doing the same thing. Shackles, everything I got, full focus. Okay. Natural 20! <sighs> okay, yeah, they form. Dwayne. They form this time. How far can I carry two bodies on my shoulders? <laughs> I also want to say for 100% fact that our cart was destroyed by the Thunder Blast. Yeah. That's just how it happened in my head. Yeah, it has to have been. Your horses are gone. Like, like just, dead gone or just bolted. ran away? No, no they, they ran bolted. away when the cart was destroyed. Yeah, when the cart oh, was destroyed. Oh, thank goodness. And you see them form... And they almost, like, snap her wrists together because she wasn't, like... She had the gun to one side and the hand to the other. And they snap them together. And, uh, yeah, so they form this time. And she smiles. So it's her turn now. Unless you want to do something else. <laughs> no, bonus action hide. Okay, go ahead. Uh, that is a 17. Hers is a 19. So she sees me. She sees you, like <laughs> jump behind a tree and then scuttle through the bushes. And this time, like she's kind of like, you look ridiculous, but it's worked so far. Like so, whatever. And she looks down at the shackles, and she's going to attempt to break them. And we're gonna do this this way because it's an experimental thing. I need you to roll a constitution check against your own spell save dc okay that's that's actually pretty good uh yeah i beat it okay so now she's gonna roll a strength check against your spell save dc to see if it was see if it was real yeah yeah well really she's trying to break them right i'm, I'm walking and I'm, and, I'm, and I'm trying to keep them in existence and you're holding them right yeah and to me this is as we go further shane and and it's going to like use your reaction for bigger shit like this, right? Like to fight against something like that. I mean, but she like pulls them and the it stretches and they snap back. And she's laughing and she says, "Cute trick. You can leave Thanks. me alone." Thanks. I learned it from Wendy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, it's call and response. So that's cute trick is what she gets. Um, that's her action. And uh, that's all she's going to do. She's going to stand over Kristoff's body, though. Um, or Rowan's body, thank you. Rowan, it's your turn. Or Atlas, it's your turn. Damn, I can't keep you guys straight tonight. Uh, I will run over to Rowan and do a medicine check. Right, try to bring him back to stable. stable. Is that a thing? It is. And here's what I'm going to ask. Because we're now playing this game. Um, actually, here's not that's not what I'm gonna do. That's where this episode ends. Oh, so boy. Atlas the drama sprints over, just doo, doo, doo. and like you see this chained reclaimer, Kristoff. I want to say like hands and <laughs> knees in a bush, maybe yeah. like concentrating, exactly, like looking up, sweating, like right, yep. and then. Uh, Rowan, I, I like to imagine. Here's how I imagine death saving checks: is you got like in limbo and like just looking at like a door, going, uh, "That's not great." <laughs> no, please. <laughs> um, and that's where we're gonna end the episode. And uh, it was a good will, one, boys. Will Rowan live? Will Atlas be able to talk sense into Kristoff? Will Dwayne be able to finally know what his players are doing? None of these answers and more. Find out questions. next time on. <laughs> None of these answers anymore. <laughs> more Unlawful, stupid. I did not expect you guys to fight her in any way, shape, or form, but it has been fun as fuck. Uh, so, is there anything you guys want to like sign out? Like, we've done such a good job of like being on top of everything so far. Uh, yes. So, one thing I have to do is is roll for humanity. Um. Are you going to remember that you did this so you don't do this I'm, live? I'm, go I'm going to have to listen to the episode again to gotcha. realize 
what what money I'm giving to the charity. Uh, it's Wounded Warriors. It's wounded, for the month of uh, yeah. uh, June. It's Wounded Warriors. I'm just saying. Oh, that's awesome! So, so I can stop saying to be determined later. Wounded Warrior Project is getting all the monies that I've uh, I've done in these roles, um, and that's critical one. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It's a seven. That's not bad. So that's eleven. Yeah. Oh, nice. We are a force for good. I thought it was a critical one. It was a seven. Um, no. I feel like you can't get critical ones and min max mankind. Not allowed. I feel like I we mean, need you can't, to find you can't, it. You can't if you if you are the Grinch and you have a heart three sizes too small. But Oof. luckily, I do not. Oof. Uh, yeah. So if you guys haven't, if you guys haven't followed us on uh, Twitter, it's stupid lawful. Facebook is lawful stupid. Instagram is lawful stupid. And our website is always growing we're adding content to it not as much as i would like at the moment and that's 100 percent on me the dm but you know we have all this cool fan art coming out and so many oh, people are so interacting cool. with us on instagram this is um, also cool it is yeah i feel extremely honored every time someone spends their valuable time drawing art for us i feel very honored when somebody uses a valuable time to listen to our podcast if they that's take true. it a step further and then draw something from it and make it outside of our imaginations and, and in the real world, I am yeah, over the blown moon. away. Thank you so much. All the moons of Jupiter. It, yeah, it is. Um, There's so many moons. That's a lot of moons on Jupiter. Yeah, it's uh, <clears throat> it's amazing. It's And it honestly, like, sometimes this podcast can be a lot of work. Um, and I, you know, honestly, the guys do more than I do day to day. Um like, I think you guys do more than I do overall, honestly. I just do mine in bigger chunks with editing. Um, so that just makes it all worth it, honestly, that somebody out there is getting any enjoyment from the bullshit we're doing. Um, so thank you <laughs> yeah, somebody, so much somebody, for listening. It was uh, Kid Geza did art for us most recently, and we said, oh, thank you so much for the art. And they said, oh, well, thank you for making my morning every Monday morning. And I was like, my heart! You drop kicked yep. it! Ugh. Love it so much. Um, so thank you, Kid Gaza, and thank you for everybody who listens. It just it means the world to us to be able to do this and, and maybe entertain some folks. And the best way that you can let us know that you love it is to go to iTunes and rate and review. That helps us immensely on some scale. Not sh- Actually, maybe just for our own personal pride. We just like to know that you guys care. But yeah, that, that helps a lot. It also does a lot for our podcast and like helps us go up in, in the list of people who can also experience this. They can find us more easily if you rate and review. So I, I know it takes more of your precious time you already given us by listening or doing fan art, but if, if, if you could take the time to do that, it, uh, it would. That's so awesome. Well, thank you guys for listening, and we'll Bye. see you Bye. I'm not dead yet. Guys, I'm here. Hi, I'm Christoph Shindo. Wait, no, that's not right. Um, I am Scott Chainsaw. That's who I am today. And I am coming to you on behalf of Lawful Stupid. Uh, here to talk to you about, uh, for those of you who follow our social media, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, that kind of thing, uh, you have probably seen that we are working on coming out with our own Lawful Stupid uh, companion webcomic that uh, is going to be, you know, key moments from each episode uh, that are going to be coming out um, and really... Uh, trying to capture that essence and, and, and bring the story to life a little bit more, which we're always into. Um, we could not decide uh, based on so many of our amazing people that entered. Like some really like top notch artists um, reached out and wanted to be a part of this project, and it was just frankly amazing. Um, and we had difficulty. We had difficulty narrowing it down to two, um, and once we narrowed it down to two, it was just a complete hung jury right we could not make that determination so we have left it to you the fans to decide and i am proud to announce that uh you have chosen you've decided um so many people were torn on this so many people didn't know which way to go um just like we were uh but eventually we did have a winner and our winner is 
Frumple Grumple. Yes, Frumple Grumple on Instagram. Uh, you can reach out to Frumple Grumple. Congratulate them because they will be doing uh, the Lawful Stupid Web comic, and they are going to be our artists moving forward for for hopefully many years to come, uh, and helping us uh, bring this stupid story a little bit more to life. And and their work is amazing, and we love it on every front. And uh, it's it's really good, and we're very excited to start pumping out those comics. And you're going to see more. You can you can already see number one uh, is going to be up on our our Instagram, and there's going to be a special place for those on our website, lawfulstupid.org. Um, and you can go check out those comics as they release, and kind of follow along with those. Or you know, uh, on our socials, they'll be there as well. Um, and it's going to be a really cool thing that we're super excited for. Um, now our 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 runner up, uh, Gidgeza. Gidgeza is a, is a huge fan of the show, a dear friend of the show, and we, you know, uh, offer our, our our heartfelt thanks um, to everyone who who uh, who wanted to be a part of this. Um, Gid, we absolutely are doing new projects all the time, constantly, and we always require amazing artists to make our silly little dreams reality. So don't think just because you know. Uh, you're not doing this comic moving forward that we don't uh, have more in store for you. So I, I think very, very seriously we're going to see Gid Geza again. Um, but thank you to everyone who participated. Thank you to everybody who voted. Thank you to everybody who listens to this silly, silly show. Um, we're really, really proud of the content that we've been coming out with lately. Um, this episode, episode 24, and the next episode, episode 25, um, I no spoilers, but I went on an emotional journey during these episodes personally and i think all the boys would agree that these are some some of the best stuff we've ever done is is coming out uh now so please stick with us please tell a friend um if you haven't consider leaving us an itunes review uh we don't have a ton of them and we need more that's really what sets us out from other shows and like lets other people experience this to get us higher in the listing so that more people can find us and listen to this um Telling a friend is huge, but leaving those iTunes reviews is just as huge for us. I, I know consistently we've got about uh, 70 of you. About 70 of you are, are listening to these episodes as soon as they drop. Um, and that's huge and amazing and amazing growth for, growth for us. And we're so blown away by this community. But we've only got 17 iTunes reviews. So if you 70 folks who listen to this, I'm talking to you. That's right, John. John, Steve, both of you, I know you're out there. If you could just do a solid and just leave an iTunes review, like you can drop us some stars, that helps. Um, but if you could even just put a little blurb like, "Hey, I like the show," or "Hey, these jokes are funny," or "Hey, I like the lore," or "Hey, this," you know, whatever it is that you like, or like, drop us a three star review if you feel we're a three star show, and just tell us like, "Hey, I would love to give this five stars, but you don't have as much." you know combat as i would like or you don't have as much this as i would like let us know we will listen to you and we will um do what we can to make the show a better experience for you um so tell your friend um you know give us itunes reviews that really helps out another thing that helps out like amazingly huge like beyond above and beyond like if you can if you can swing it if you can go to our patreon which you can find on our website lawfulstupid.org um if you can go to our patreon and you can give us a few shekels that is amazing. So you're going to get a lot of cool, amazing Patreon rewards if you do that. we got some cool Patreon stretch goals, um, like a Name of the Wind uh, f- brand new game of my own design that we that I will DM or Game Master and we will play. Um, and just like t-shirts and like really cool art and like stuff that you get to do to hang out with the boys and play video games with us and do all kinds of cool stuff. Um there, there's all kinds of rewards and they're they're pretty sweet so you can do that and also you help us support the show and you help us pay frumple grumple who's coming out with these amazing comics we can pay her more money if we have more money from the show we can give her more of it and then she gets more compensation for this amazing comic that she's doing so um yeah i've talked too long and i love you all so much and i mean it and just thanks for listening <laughs>